Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along, you know that we have been on a search for a new camper and we are here in Hershey, Pennsylvania on that search and we wanted to check out the 240ML. Buckle up, Buttercup! I really like the entryway of this. Just right upon the entry, you have this nice cabinet where you can hang things or use shelving open area, shelving right here plus some drawer space. This is really nice to have in an entryway, I think. Um, and then over here, you also have the shelves, what we use for shoe storage. Obviously, you can use it for anything. And then you have the two drawers right up here. Now, these are usually what you see right at the entry of most of the transcends, um, but adding this to it is amazing. And then you walk in, wow, look at this kitchen area. It is awesome. And then in the slide, you have the kitchen area and the theater seating. Now with this unit, you don't have to get the theater seating. If you want a trifold couch, if you do need that extra sleeping arrangements, you can do that. Otherwise, the theater seating is very comfortable. And then over here, you have the dinette that also converts into bedding. You have the cabinets right underneath here for storage underneath both seats. And then here's what I call like a little entertainment area. You have cabinets, your entertainment system, and on the side, you have your command center for your slides and awnings and everything like that. Now, if you walk over here, this is the master bedroom area. Very typical for the transcends. You get the closets on both sides of the bed. You get some shelving here and a nice big drawer, little nightstand. And then you have the USB outlets and the electrical outlets, overhead shelving, and then of course, you also get the underbed storage, which is really nice and big for items that you may not need to get to all the time. If you do need to get to it, it's really so easy to put the bed up and down. It's not heavy at all, it comes on struts. You also get some windows on the right of the bed and on the left of the bed. This unit is gorgeous. Kitchen is awesome. You have cabinet space next to the microwave. You have the counter space around the range. Plus, it's surrounded by drawers all on the left side, so plenty of storage. You even have the big drawer on the bottom of it, and then a nice big cabinet with shelving. I really like the layout of this kitchen. And then you come over here with the sink. Again, more counter space for food prep. I mean, if you wanna put your coffee pot out, there is really endless amount of countertop space. And I am really loving that they are making more countertop space in the transcends. I think it's a really great idea. You have the overhead cabinets, plenty of storage. Like always, that's one thing they've never been lacking in. I feel like the transcends have always had a good amount of storage. I always love when they add drawers to it. So the fact that there's so many drawers in here, four of them, you've got the cabinet underneath here, another cabinet with a shelf here, and then another drawer. Um, so I really dig in this kitchen. You have a light, you have electrical outlets on each side. You can put a blender there or a coffee pot there and you're set to go. And then you have the bathroom right here, which is really amazing with storage as well. You've got what I call the towel storage here on the sides. You can even put toilet paper rolls in it, just any kind of storage, it's really deep. Oh, actually this isn't as deep as usual. This goes to um, about the middle of my arm. You have the shelving here medicine cabinet, countertop space, I'm telling you, outlets, more shelving, and then a cabinet down here. And then the shower is the standard transcend showers that you see in all of them. And it does have the amazing skylight to let in natural light. And it also has a vent with a fan inside the bathroom. Although I love this camper, I don't think it's a contender for us. We typically like bunk houses just because the kids, they like to have their own space. But man, I love this camper. I think the kitchen is fantastic. And I just love the layout of the camper overall. So if you are in the market for a camper for a couple, or if you have a small family, if you have a small family, I mean, this camper really would work great, especially um, if your kids aren't specific about wanting their own beds or anything, because you can convert this theater seating to a trifold couch that will go into a bed, and then the dinette will also convert to a bed. So overall, I am really happy with this camper. I think it's great. I think. Uh, Grand Design hit it out of the park yet again with this camper. 
But that's not the last of the campers that we're looking at. We have many more to check out, so be sure to like and subscribe and follow along. If you guys wanna support us so we're still able to bring you content, you can consider becoming a YouTube channel member or you can become a patron on our Patreon membership account. And you can always leave a super thanks at the end of this video. But until next time, guys, buckle up, buttercup.